All right, let's hope and pray to Jesus Cthulhu, whoever the hell is listening, that this works. Hi, I'm Mason. I'm gonna do a flip through of my journal. <laughs> it's got Megara on the cover, because I decorated it that way, and I got it from Walmart for like five bucks. <laughs> what a way! <laughs> what a way to start a video like this. I'm sorry, I've just been having all kinds of like phone struggles, and it turns out oh, it might be the case that my phone just needed an update because it tends to do that like if it needs an update it wants to just throw a little bratty hissy fit like I want to update and <laughs> just like cause like have like weird glitches and bugs and junk and it's just it's a pain in the ass so thanks Apple um, anyway let's just get right down to the nitty-gritty of this this is my journal it is journal number 33 I am almost halfway done with this um I'm almost halfway through, maybe like a few pages short from halfway. Uh, catch right here. I'm not touching her, she's just there. Um, but yeah, so without further ado, let's get started. I did get this journal from Walmart like I stated earlier. It is a mint green composition notebook, 100 sheets with dot pages, dot grid. I really really like it. It's really nice. It's not like the best quality bound wise and you'll probably see a little bit of that. Um, but I do like the paper. The paper is super nice. Um, it's it's not bad for a five dollar journal which you never, like I said, you never know how good a cheap journal can be until you like actually, you know, feel it. Like just basically feel it up in public. It's just... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's how I do it. When I buy journals, I just basically fondle them in public and then walk around with them to see if I like them. <laughs> it's like a weird stalking situation. Anyway, just info page. If I lose this, knock on wood. Um, this is my calendar page for the month of March, which is what I'm just going to be flipping through the pages of for March. Um, I had a convention that I wanted to go to in March, but due to the outbreak, it got canceled, and I'm still super sad about that. Let me see if... That's better. That's much better. Let's see, yeah, but due to the virus, I had to, it had to get canceled and junk. And then it got postponed until October, so I ended up having to cancel the plans anyway. Um, so before I got into the habit of, like, the flow of this journal, I was writing for the day prior. Because when I'm at work, before I go to work, I will write... I will write and then um, before I went, before I started work, writing like I do, I would just write at the end of the day or no, I'd write in the morning before I went to work. I'd write about the day before, like I'd be writing about Saturday in this case and I was. I was writing about like the day before, before I went to work and everything about that and then I'd get ready for work and then I'd not write again until tomorrow. But now how I do it, well how I was doing it before the shutdown is I would write before work um, and I would take my journal with me to work and then once I clocked out I would start writing about the rest of my day like as soon as I clocked out and sat down to wait for my mom to pick me up I would write 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 and then I would come back home finish showering and then finish my entry and then go to sleep and it's, it's a good way to do it so I was writing about how I was working with a manager that I really like to work with um, and all the, or not a manager, but like a, a cook that I like to work with and stuff. And it was a lot of fun. Like I was really knocking out orders and they, they were looking at me, like my work mom and this cook, they were looking at me like, oh, listen to her, listen to, listen to them say this. Like, say it again, say it again. So I'd like recite the order again as I said it. And they're like, that's how you call back an order. That's how you call back an order, people. That's how you do it. Learn by that example. <laughs> so I'm like, <"Bleh." laughs> spotlights on me. I don't know what to do. I, I, I swear, I my spirit animal is Tamaki Yamajiki from My Hero Academia. He's just my spirit animal. I'm just going to say that out loud. <laughs> um, I kin him to a degree. I see a lot of myself in him. Uh, I was writing a bit sideways, honestly. Um, one of my coworkers, the previous day, because I was writing about the day before, um... She looked at me dead in the eye and she said, I really enjoy working with you. I really do. Like, I'm going to miss working with you more on second shift. And I'm like, like, I just, I straight up malfunctioned. So I'm just like, wait, 
you what? Why are you, are you okay? <laughs> like, because, like, I have such horrible self-esteem to the point where, like, I just feel like nobody, sta like, everybody hates me as much as I hate myself, and it's quite a lot, actually. Many of y'all realize that. Um, like, nobody wants to admit that they don't like me, that they don't want to hang out with me, and... In some cases, I know it's not the case, but, like, I can't help but feel like they're just hiding it from me. Like, they're really convincing liars at this point. Like, it, it, it's it's a really shitty mindset, and that's because of my depression. It's just, it's constant, and it sucks. I'm not gonna go on a big pity party about that. Let's just look at the pretty pages, shall we? Um, I've been really addicted to doing, like, monochrome, or... Is this monochrome if it's mostly one shade? I don't remember if it's monochrome or if it's like some other term, like mono something. Either way, I like it when the pages have like mostly one color on them. You know, minus like black and gray. I mean, it can be all black and gray, but I'll add like neutral colors like blacks, grays, browns, silvers, stuff like that, just because I think it looks nice together. But for the most part, it is monochrome. This is a very like Minnie Mouse-esque inspired set of pages. Um, so this day I got asked by a third shift server if I could pick up her shift. Like if I could cover for her for a third shift on Saturday. And I said, yeah, sure, I'm going to go to a convention soon enough and I'm going to need the money, so I'll, I'll take it. No problem. Not a problem. And I, I accepted it. And then this day I was discussing it. Again, I was writing this sideways in junk. Um, it's just fun to do it this way. I feel like you're writing like a, like a long like script or something like that or like a tome. I don't know how to, how to explain it, but it's like it's really fun to write like that, like write sideways. But yeah, I discussed it with my manager. All was fine. He said, so I'm not gonna have you work a full 17 hour shift, but you'll stay from 2 p.m. which is when I go in to work for second and you'll stay till as late as roughly 2 p like 2 a.m. because you know sometimes we might get a little bit busy unexpected expectedly during two o'clock or whatever someone might take you home or whatever beforehand but you're not gonna stay the entirety of a third shift in the, on top of your second shift that was the plan anyway so uh, before I get into the events of what happened that Saturday night I'm gonna talk about a dream that I had so it was like a weird, mildly dystopian-esque dream, like, relatively everything was the same, you know, just some stuff was a bit run down, like, everything was kind of like a bit shambly, um, like a, like a, like a dead, like an old part of the city where, like, all, most of the buildings are abandoned and, like, maybe a couple of shops, there's a lot of trash and debris and stuff on the, on the ground and junk, but, um, a, women who were of a certain age have never been in a relationship, are not actively searching for a relationship, or people that have been single for too long. If they've been out of a relationship for too long and not actively searching, women had to get taken into like a government facility to just get like basically be set up on like a buy a bride kind of website. Like it was really kind of weird. Um, and I mean, I'm not going to go into, like, fuller detail than that because I feel like it's going to take forever to record, but if anyone wants to hear more about it, I mean, I posted the picture of this page exactly on Instagram because it was, it took up, like, all of the story about that dream. So, yeah. Yeah, I had that weird mildly dystopian dream. If anyone's interested, it's on my Instagram page um, if anyone wants to read about it. So, what happened was I got it on Saturday. And, you know, I had a, a good second shift. Second shift one, as it usually does, it was, you know, busy enough. And third shift came in and second shift left. Okay, so I said goodbye to first shift because they leave when I come in. I said hello to second shift. I said goodbye to second shift. I said hello to third shift. I joined third shift. Then I said hello to first shift because we, I ended up staying the entirety of third shift on top of my second shift. So I stayed at that store about 17 hours. <laughs> Boy, howdy, was I tired. Um, Like 14 to 17 hours, I think. I don't remember exactly what the number was. But, um, so yeah, I, in second shift, I had section one. And on a three person, that is table one, table two, and table three. Um, It's three booths. 
and then section two on a third person is seat four through 17, because it's the high bar and the low bar at this Waffle House that I'm at. And then section three for a third person is 18, 19, 20. So I had section one and you know, it was relatively busier because it's second shift. And then third shift came in and I said, hey, to the first person that came in, do you by chance want section one? Because I don't think we're gonna be all that busy. I might get a good handful of people, but I'm not gonna get that terribly many. You can take the first section, I'll take second, and the other server can take third. So you guys can probably make more money and all that stuff. And she said, are you sure? I'm just like, yeah, I've made money. I'm making more on the clock. I'll make some more in some tips, like in some tips. It's all right. Uh, no, it did not turn out that way. Um, Cause I, I don't know anything about bar terms or like party goers and stuff. But we got like three or four consecutive strong pulses of potheads and alcoholics that night. Boy, howdy, it was a mess. And of course, I was overrun with the number of tables. I was I ran out of all the pages in one checkbook, so I had over fifty five over fifty checks that night, written, and I made two hundred and twelve dollars in tips in one night, and it was it was insane. So I was there. And then first shift came in and they're like, what on earth are you doing here still? Why didn't you go home on time? And it's like, I had to pick up a third. <laughs> I picked up a third for Ash, or for, for, uh, for, uh, for, uh, for a server. And it, I was supposed to leave earlier, but we got too busy. And they're like, and you're still here. And I'm like, yeah. And she's like, they're like, well, do you plan on coming in? I'm like, no, but if I have to, I will. And they're like, Okay, you go. You go home. You go home. Like, they were, like, gassing me up, like, calling me, like, a beast and, like, a madhouse. No one can stop me and, like, all this other cool stuff. Like, they were, like, really just hyping me up and gassing me up and just, like, I'm having sleep deprived, like, sleep deprived hallucinations. I gotta go home. <laughs> like, I was, like, I had no idea how to process any of it, but I'm just, like, I'm gonna pass out if this keeps up because this is not how it, things usually are in the normal order, aren't they? So the manager came in for first shift and I looked at him and I said, I hope you understand when I say I'm not coming in on my shift at two o'clock. And he said, not a problem. I understand. Thank you so much for staying as long as you have. Um, I'm looking for, I'll look for someone to cover for you like as we speak. And I said, if you do need me, just call me. I don't really care. It's just like, I want to go home and get as much sleep as I can. And he's like, understood. So I went home. I went to bed around like whew, like eight or nine, like nine o'clock, ten o'clock ish, like ten a.m. ish, and then I woke up around like around like one o'clock, like one thirty ish, and I thought to myself, self, I think you might need to call the store. So I looked at my phone, and there was a text from the actual manager, there, like the store manager, and he said you might need to call, like just call in with the shift manager because he's been having a hard time getting people to cover for a second and either come in on their shift on time and all that junk. And I said, I had a feeling. So I called the store and I asked him, how bad do you need me? Do you want me to come in, yes or no? And he answered, um, well, I'm still trying to look for someone to cover for you. Um, you don't have to if you don't want to. I understand that you are very tired, still probably, even though you probably got some sleep. But we would appreciate it if you did come in. But it is all up to you. I will not be mad at you if you come in or if you don't come in. And I asked him, if I were to come in, do I have to stay the entire shift? And he said, no, because as soon as I find someone and as soon as they get there, you are gone. Like, you are going to be back home. And I said, I will be there as soon as I can. I'll be as late as 2.30 because it was really kind of cutting it close. I pulled my uniform out of the laundry hamper because I was just about to wash it. I didn't have my name tag on. I just kind of threw on the essentials and I walked out the door and uh, I went to work and first shift was like yelling at me, like cheering for me. I'm just like, I'm still sleep deprived. I want to assume because there's no way they're going to gas me up this much. Like I kept getting called a beast. Like I got so many high fives and all that junk and I'm like, everything's like wrong in the world right now. Something's not right. But yeah, I was only there for like 15 minutes, but, but they were just like, 
they were like just so like so hype like so hype for me and just like at least they now know I'm reliable and I got mad props that like mad respect from them but like I'm tired I want to go home I'm gonna forget about this eventually <laughs> like they're gonna forget about this eventually maybe so yeah that was my Saturday night that was insane but I made good money on that that's for sure so I had this image from a mini calendar that came with a calendar in the Dollar Tree like some of the calendars will come with like a standard like a large size one then a really small one that's like a similar theme like one of them's flowers a small one's butterflies or landscapes the other one's like just trees or something like that you know what I mean if anyone's seen those but yeah, I had this and I wanted to make it Mulan like a Mulan themed collage because of the movie coming or that was supposed to come out relatively earlier like in late March but it ended up getting postponed to the outbreak so and I couldn't find any like good Mulan stickers of like just her in the pink dress from the movie because I thought of the scene where she was sitting with her dad after she sang reflection and stuff but I didn't have a sticker like that so I just went with Aurora and it, it worked out but I put um a little bit of like clear uh, clear glitter um oh it's a gel pen oh it's like moon not, what is it called sakura sakura glitter gel pen that's it i keep i thought they were called like moon gel or something like that and i'm like that's not a brand is it <laughs> um but yeah i was still super tired so i really didn't write much um just writing about like how i'm so excited to to go to this convention i gotta work on some like some last minute stuff but that's all right and then i was writing about this is when i finally started writing about how the coronavirus was affecting my um my work like it was really slowing everybody down like i'm talking like i would usually walk out a second shift with almost 80 dollars or 70 dollars and i was walking out with like 50 something like it was starting to slowly like make money a lot lower for us like tips were coming in a lot less frequently and then it was like I was like really starting to write about because I'm like I just thought it was gonna be like a small thing like nothing serious gonna happen and now here we are in quarantine for like the third week at this point um but yeah it's it's been kind of crazy since then I really like red and black together like it makes me think of like I don't know I kind of think of Danny from Paper Room, but I also think of like vampires, but then again, it's like, same thing. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I love Danny. Um, I love Paper Worm's cat, she, she's awesome. Uh, but yeah, I was writing a lot. I love this pastel and purple kind of vibe. Again, because I like to write this way. So I wrote, or I'd made a collage with this image of a pill bottle that had like a ray of sunshine coming out of it but I cut that off um this was like the pills were all from one image I just meticulously cut them all out because I'm just like you know what let's just do it that way I really loved how this looked and I really wished I like kept like a thing going on like I would just write with a bunch of medical stuff but it didn't work out that way so I just ended up making two collages so it's really fun I love how this looks this was like a giant rubber like a band-aid ball um this was this had like a picture of money coming out of it but i cut that off as well um it conveniently had a picture of a person on a cot and yeah it says the key is to quarantine and a cure for confusion then i was just kind of writing about some stuff so on saint patrick's day i was writing about how um in a handful of years and we have new history textbooks and stuff in American schools how much are we going to modify the facts to make it look like we Americans were like like the American government was the good guy and saved everybody from this pandemic when in reality we were probably like a like it's not really the case because I was talking about like how American history tends to like make America look great grand and glorious even though we've had our fair share of fuck-ups but we won't admit to them <laughs> you know what i mean like 
I'm not going to go on that kind of tangent, but you know, modern American history text, like some American history textbooks are very heavily modified to where it doesn't seem like we are all that bad. Um, I think I've read about that in a couple of places. Like we, we don't teach enough about like black history. We don't teach enough about like other types of history. Like we just teach about like the very standard stuff that makes us look like the great nation that we allegedly are and all this other junk. As you can tell, I'm not the most proud American citizen, but you know what? Anyway, uh, so I went to work. I didn't end up writing for this day. I just wrote with a bunch of prompts while I was at work because this was when uh, it was just going to be me and a cook the entire shift. And then when a server came in, I would clock out. And when a cook came in, they would clock out. So I did just a couple of activities with the cook. And then I just wrote in a bunch of prompts. I'll read you the prompts in case anybody wants to use them. Uh, the prompts are, what types of people scare you? Do you believe in karma? Do you have any scars? What do you think should be censored? How are you at karaoke? Are you a planner or spontaneous? Do you prefer a natural approach to healing or do you think modern drugs work best? Uh, have you found the purpose of your life? Uh, what book have you read that made you really think about life? Would you ever consider writing to someone in jail as a pen pal? Have you ever uh, dieted? If so, what diet did you try? What food item to you, or what item do you no longer allow yourself to eat? Yeah, those are the prompts that I used. I kind of went through a, the 3,000 questions about me book that by Piccadilly. It's the red one. Um, I just kind of like randomly flipped through it and just kind of poked and then just scroll around to see what ones I stood out to me and stuff. Like I just like flipped through a few pages, like brushed through it and see whatever stood out. But I'm I'm not gonna lie, I really love these little like polka dot rainbow washi stacks. This is like really super cute to me. <laughs> like I might try to do this again more around Easter time and stuff. Cause that's just too precious for me, I think. Um, first day of spring. Uh, and I just wrote in a bunch of pink because I just thought it was fitting because I had this pink flower tape and I thought that's kind of springy and then I used these I don't know what this character's name is I think it's like Molong Molang something like that but I have like a sticky note pack that's almost out and I'm high key sad um, and I have a bunch of stickers of this character that I haven't really used because I love them so much because he's so, like, they're so precious. Like, I don't know what it is about this little chungus of a rabbit, but I love it. I did a collage for spring with, like, a blue hydrangea dinner, like, dinner party in the garden kind of thing. And I just really loved it. it made me think of Megan's Diary, kind of. Um, and then I did a spread to kind of reflect on that. So I didn't write for the day before because it was just kind of sudden and short. Um, cause the day before on Friday, I went to work. I literally smuggled in a board game to play with my coworker, the cook. And we were playing it, we got a good head start and the manager came back in. He said, pack up and leave you guys. Uh, we, uh, we are closing down temporarily due to the quarantine and the outbreak and stuff and we're like, well, what should we do about our pay? Um, should we sign up for unemployment? Should we maybe look for another job, another store maybe? And he said, hold off on that. I'll text you guys later. So, um, we, she drove me home and, and yeah, it was quite, uh, quite crazy. Then after a while, I texted him, you know, it was like a handful of hours later. I'm just like, maybe he just forgot or maybe something. So I texted him and I said, hey, um, do you happen to have any updates? I don't mean to bother you. And he said, I don't. Um, uh, it's still kind of unclear right now, but I'm working on it. Just hang tight. I'll text you by later tonight. And I'm like, okay, so again, sorry to bother you. Um, then he texted me back later and he said, just go on unemployment. There's just not enough hours to pick up because a lot of our stores are closing temporarily due to this outbreak. And I work at a Waffle House too, so you know it's serious if Waffle Houses are closing. I think when I, 
I'm getting like email updates from the company and stuff like a little video from like the CEO and stuff and he said I think it said like almost 600 almost 600 stores are closed right now so it's crazy um so on Saturday my sister and I went out to go pick up Nintendo switches because she really wanted to play Animal Crossing and I really wanted to play Animal Crossing and I also want to pick up some other games because I'm not as one track minded as she is um so we went out to GameStop first because we thought we'd just get it all done and over with in one in one shop um I got a Nintendo Switch Lite in gray refurbished so it was a little bit cheaper I got Pokemon Shield and I got uh My Hero Academia One's Justice 2 um and then she didn't get anything because they didn't have a copy of uh, new of uh, New Horizons in the store. They only had digital copy purchases. So we went to the store behind it. So we just wanted to be short and quick about going out. Um, so we went into the store really quickly, just beelined right to the game section. They didn't have a regular Nintendo Switch, and they did not have New Leaf either. Or New Horizons. I'm going to keep saying New Leaf because they have very similar titles. They did not have New Horizons either. So... We then went to Target, and we both picked up a physical copy of New Horizons, but they also, they like just sold their last Nintendo Switch. It's the one that you, you know, plug into the TV and junk. Sorry, I have the hiccups now. So then we went to Walmart, and they didn't have any either. They weren't too sure when they were going to get them in stock. So we sat in the parking lot for a little bit to make sure, like do like a final check on the internet to see if there was either one we can purchase online for her or if um, another store somewhere close to us had it, like Sam's Club or Costco or another Walmart or Meyer or whatever. No store within 200 miles had it. So we were like just shit out of luck. And then online it was like outrageously priced. Like it was like almost like $100 more than it usually sells for. So she left empty handed. And then after a while, she just kind of caved, and then she bought a Nintendo Switch Lite in yellow, brand new, so. So, yeah. Then we, I finally started to play, um, I played my first two games first. I played, uh, Shield and One's Justice 2. I'm not done with Shield yet. It's just, for some reason, I'm just not in the mood to play in Shield yet, because I guess just progress is a bit weird in that game. Sorry, I think somebody's walking outside, because I can see them, like, their shadow on from above my windows because I have live in the basement and stuff. But yeah, so I when she got her copy of like when she got her Nintendo Switch Lite, I ended up finally playing Animal Crossing and I nicknamed or I named my island Bungalow. I wanted to name it like Bungalow Blue for some reason. I don't know why that stuck out, but I'm just like, no, maybe Bunga Blue. No. Bungaloo. That's the ticket. And my sister thought it was adorable, so that's what it is. Um, if anybody wants to maybe play Animal Crossing, feel free. I do have, um, all the fruit. I just haven't planted them in tree form. Like, I haven't planted them yet to make them trees. But I do have an apple tree, a cherry tree, and my native fruit is peaches. So I'm set on peaches, even though I hate peaches. I really wanted an apple or an orange native fruit, but you know what? So yeah, I was just kind of writing about, like, what I've done so far and how I like the game. And then I continued on with my entry for the day and I really like how this, these pages turned out. It's super cute. And then a bold and vibrant yellow theme because I was skipping a bunch of days because I was just tired and junk. And now I have a would you rather prompt page because I was just like I, I want to write but I don't have much to write about. So let's just do prompts. I don't know what compelled me or possessed me to use like Mardi Gras colors, but I really love how these pages turned out, and I really love this color combo, because I do think of Mardi Gras when it comes to it, so yeah, I'm just going to leave that as is. Um, I'll read these prompts to you as well. Um, would you rather give up your favorite food for a year or give up candy forever? Would you rather get a tattoo of a cartoon character or the face of a celebrity you like? Would you rather go on a trip around the world with your best friend or a week-long Hawaiian vacation with your significant other? 
Would you rather transform into a vampire or be a vampire hunter? Would you rather never celebrate your birthday again or never drink alcohol again? Would you rather have a self-cleaning house or a self or self-cleaning laundry? Would you rather have uh would you rather pose nude for an art class or pose nude front cover for a magazine? Uh would you rather be a genie in a bottle or a wizard? Would you rather be able to analyze and translate every dream at this point or would you rather have a bad never have a bad dream again? Would you rather have an imaginary creature that only you can see follow you around and talk to you or have uh, or have weird noises come from under your bed every night? Would you rather find the fountain of youth or the fountain of truth to answer all your life's questions? And would you rather have a poem or a song written about you? So these are the pages that I did on a, on a recent video. We, I was just kind of talking a bit about my cousin who passed away on this day. He was three months shy of turning three. Yeah, he, he, he was born in June. And he passed away on March 30th. I don't even remember how many years ago, but I did a little Toy Story page dedicated to him, and it was mostly blue colored because he loved blue, but I did put some red in there to kind of make it like primary, but I used a lot of yellow lately, so I'm just like, I'm a little tired of yellow, so I'll just do red and blue. And yeah, I, I was writing about like the day that he passed away and how I remember everything that happened and stuff. It was, it was a rough time. But, um, anywho... This is the calendar page for the month of April. I'm just going to do a quick flip, no explanation to anything on my pages so far for April. And that's it so far. I just need to finish writing for the day. Um, this is my pen test. I've been also doing like watchy, watchy, washi swatches to make sure I like how the colors look and how they look with each other and stuff because you can't tell 100% um, when they're just kind of stacked together like you need to see them like kind of clustered to a degree and then of course just pen colors to make sure they all correlate together and then I used up this I finally finished this roll of washi tape and I'm really sad about it because it was my favorite tape and then I used up the first roll that I had of this but I have a backup roll because of I love this tape so much and yeah so that's all that I have so far for the month of March in a sneak peek into April. I'm super, super excited for April because I'm going to have a nephew. I'm so excited and I can't wait to meet him. Maybe soon enough, hopefully. <laughs> anyway, um, that was my flip through of Journal 33 for the month of March. I hope you guys enjoyed and it looks like I had no problems recording finally, so I will see you guys later. Bye!